Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Braves Diva newest collection, the Artist Collection Swatches. It is a beautiful collection. Let's get started. And here's the photo for the inspiration for the first polish, Aaron's Tears. Aaron's Tears has a blue purple base with a blue shimmer and flashes of gold shimmer and pink hollow. Oh, you know, throw some pink in there on that and I am down with it. I am so ready. These polishes were all inspired by Tara's grandmother. She was a painter. And so all the pictures you're going to see are the paintings that her grandmother had done when she was, you know, younger. And uh, they have been the inspiration for this entire collection. It's all like Native American, Southwest, you know, and they're just so reflective of that. That is just the second coat there and now we're going to go in for a third coat on this one if i had done thicker coats this could be a two coater but you know you you got to get used to the formulas when you first break open polishes so i was trying to be very careful so there is the third coat of aaron's tears look at that shimmer it's just beautiful now the next inspiration photo is coming up and this one is Watchful Spirits. Beautiful painting. This one is a medium gray cream with heavy blue shimmer. And this polish is a little thicker formula than her other water marbling creams. It's due to the shimmer content. So, you know, if you're planning on doing it, using it for that, just, just, or just in case you get it and you think, wow, this is thick. That's why. So here we go with the second coat of Whispering Spirit. And I, I can't even pick a favorite. I, I just, I love them all. They're so unique. And the formula is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful, smooth, glossy, shiny, shimmery, beautiful. This next one is called The Cowboy. Look at that painting. Ah. Oh. So, a ca The Cowboy is a shimmery lemon yellow polish with bright blue and bronze micro fleckies in it. This one is just so crazy pretty and I know a lot of people aren't crazy about yellow polishes but this one oh, I could see me wearing this one quite a bit actually the colors in it when you see the swatch photo you'll see it's just gorgeous it's just so unique there we go with the second coat there's my swatch photo I hope you can see that good enough I hope it shows all right, so the next one here is called Desert Friends. Look at that image. I love it. Desert Friends is an orange jelly base with violet, red, copper, and gold UCC flakies in it. Oh, my stars. Look at that. It's crazy. I just am enamored with these polishes, especially knowing that there's a lot of meaning behind them. I, I just, I love it when makers share the story of how they came up with something. All right, so here's Woody's intro here. Here we go. Woody got to help me clean up. I was trying to be very neat. I like to do that when I do swatching of collections, but mm -hmm. look at that. Crazy pretty. Just, ugh. And here we go with Combing Tangles. This one is really unusual. It's a clear jelly base with gold shimmer, blue micro flakies, till green hollow glitters, gold hollow micro glitters. It's just, it just pulls all the colors out of that blanket in the, in the painting and it just, I just can't get enough. Here we go with the second coat. Now it's going to build up and you're going to get to see. Look at that. That's just, I, I'm out of words. I mean, it's, unusual and gorgeous and oh, there's just not enough adjectives um, love this love it love it look at that oh my gosh insane Tara just did such a good job on this collection her grandmother would be proud the next one's called Roper and Roper is a bright slightly orange leaning red jelly base and then it's got the blue sparks and the sapphire blue micro glitters oh just stunning and i know this first coat's a little wonky but we'll look at this look at this second coat ah yes sir it's just 
insane the color combinations and how it all works together I just cannot believe how gorgeous these are I mean I can because I'm here so well that is it I would I will leave information down below for you to um, go check these out okay real quick I wanted to just um, jump in here and let you also know that when I ordered this collection and it arrived there was a surprise in the box there was a new bottle of peppermint bark in the park this was a polish that Tara released, um, I believe it was back in 2016, and it was part of her Christmas duo, or one of her Christmas polishes. There were two that I got, um, and this is what the gorgeousness looks like, and I'm going to let you know the reason why she sent this. Um, this is what my peppermint bark in the park from 2016 looks like. And I believe a lot of people got in touch with her and let her know that the red glitters that had gotten used had turned the base from white to pink. Now, you all know that I'm a pink lover, so I didn't mind it at all. I didn't even say nothing to Tara about it because it didn't bother me. You can see on my swatch cap it's white, but in the bottle over time it turned pink. And, um... This is just excellent customer service. Um, I didn't ask for her to do that for me. I didn't request it. I didn't, you know, I didn't even expect it, and I, I would have never asked. Um, but for her to go out of her way and do this and slip this into my order was just really, really sweet. And um, I really think that that's... Um, excellent customer service for us people that, you know, spend our, our money on indies. Um, she said she did a lot of testing on this new one, so hopefully this one will stay white, and I'm looking forward to actually using both of them this winter, because I will be using the pink version also, because I love it. I love pink, so I just wanted to throw that in there for you. Um, that is it for my little haul today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little swatch fest as I call them. I'm calling them Swatch Fest now. And I will leave a link for Brave Steve Polish down below so that if you're interested in getting any of these beauties, you will know where to go look for them. That is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.